Racial discrimination. This is chapter one, ladies and gentlemen. Racial discrimination shall mean any distinction, exclusion, restriction, or preference in any area of public or private life. I'm going to read that again, and then we'll read through the rest of that first paragraph. Racial discrimination shall mean any discrimination, exclusion, restriction, or preference in any area of public or private life. I just, I have to stop. This means that if you discriminate in your choice of sex partners, if you discriminate on the basis of race and how will you, uh, how will you be able to prove as a white person, as a white woman, for example, that you turn down the non-white guy for a date, not because uh, of his race, but because of some other reason, when you have the anti-whites leering over top of you, saying that you were guilty of the original sin of what they refer to as racism, this heresy, you're guilty of the original sin. And then what will the punishments be? It will be the obligation of the state to right the wrongs in any racial discrimination that is distinction, exclusion, restriction, or preference in any area of public or private life. The purpose or effect of which is to nullify or curtail the equal recognition, enjoyment, or exercise of one or more human rights, human rights, and fundamental freedoms enshrined in the international instruments applicable to the state's parties. So will there be a board? Will there be a hotline? Maybe that hotline they're trying to put in with the HEROES Act, where you're a white woman, you've turned down a request for sex with a non-white, maybe this is true. I'm not saying it is. Uh, I'm just I'm just speculating here. And you can go over. Please do go to a anti-whites website. Go to that calls themselves a progressive or liberal or whatever, and get their interpretation of this. But it seems here that if there's a hotline for heresy, an anonymous hotline for heresy, and you have turned down sex with a non-white male, that he might well be angered by that. Pick up the phone and call this hotline and say, well, I was discriminated against on the basis of my race by this woman, she wouldn't have sex with me. And according to this, this treaty that Biden and the uh, other anti-whites who call themselves Democrats will be implementing, you have just broken the law and the state has the obligation to correct the situation. I am merely reading the words of their treaty. You can read the words of their treaty yourself. Go online and get the treaty. Go online and get the news where, where the Biden camp says this is the thing they're going, this is one of the things they're going to implement. Look at the bills that they are suggesting and see that the same, uh, not identical, but same verbiage is being used in their bills. This is the anti-white perdition that they want to subject us to. This is why I say on the back of Born Guilty, I, it opens up with the quote, prove you aren't racist. What is the long-term psychological and emotional cost of living in a system that presumes your guilt when you are not actively proving your innocence? Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the reality for our lives. How bad is that going to get under a Biden presidency and moving forward after T-Rex. How bad is that going to get? And look at this verbiage. Look at the things that they are openly saying. This is what they own. This is what they tell you we will do. What more is there that they're not open, uh, owning up to? Racial discrimination may be based on race, color, lineage, national, ethnic origin, indirect racial, indirect racial discrimination shall be taken to occur in any realm of public and private life when a seemingly neutral provision, criterion, or practice has the capacity to entail a particular disadvantage 
for persons belonging to a specific group based on the reasons set forth in Article 1.1 or puts them at a disadvantage unless said provision criterion or practice has some reasonable and legitimate objective or justification under international human rights law. In other words, the anti-whites get to decide whether or not it is legitimate for you to turn down a non-white person's request for sex. And what does it mean to provide an equal opportunity to sex with you? What does that mean? These are their words. Read this document yourself. And when you see people from now on saying that you, they, they want T-Rex out of office, you just tell them that they're a traitor to Western kind. This is what is going to be done to us. And let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the United States has enough nuclear weapons. That's just the nuclear ones, not the other ones that it shouldn't have and, and yet probably has. We won't say here uh, because we don't know it to be the case. It's probably not the case. You should look elsewhere. Uh, but the United States has enough nuclear weapons to destroy the world many times over. So lose the United States and it's over. Western kind. Uh, rest assured that no radical, fundamental anti-white leadership in the United States that has no opposition from Western kind in this country anymore, make no mistake that they won't hesitate in pressing the button. Multiple or aggrieved discrimination is any preference, distinction, exclusion, or restriction based on simultaneously on two or more of the criteria set forth or others recognized in international instruments. The objective or result of which is to nullify or curtail the equal recognition, enjoyment, or exercise. Uh, they go on and on and on. Uh, racism consists of any theory, doctrine, ideology, or set of ideas that assert a causal link between the phenotypic or uh, genotypic characteristics of individuals or groups and their intellectual, cultural, or personality traits, including the false concept of racial superiority. All the theories, doctrines, ideologies, and sets of uh, racist ideas described in the article. So in other words, if you think there is any difference, if you have ever said there is any difference, if, if you noticed any difference, you are now at odds with, behave, with the state who is obligated to correct the scenario is obligated to correct the situation, is obligated to punish you for your beliefs, for your mistreatment of non-white peoples, uh, and specifically in this document. All the theories, doctrines, ideologies, and sets of racist ideas described in the article, let's see, where else does it say here? And contrary to the basic principle of international law, they therefore seriously undermine international peace and security and as such receive the condemnation of the state's parties. Special measures or affirmative action adopted for the purpose of ensuring equal enjoyment or exercise of one or more human rights. Is it a human right to be able to produce children? Is it a human right to be able to have sex? Is it a human right to be able to have access to white women, uh, white little boys for that matter? Is that, a, is that a human right? I bet it's not far from the end or the tip of an anti-white pen. Special measures of affirmative action adopted for the purpose of ensuring equal enjoyment or exercise of one or more human rights and fundamental freedoms or groups requiring such protection shall not be deemed racial dis uh, discrimination provided that such measures do not lead to the maintenance of separate rights for different groups and are not continued once their objectives have been achieved. So in other words, what they've just written there is they can discriminate against you, Whitey. You're okay to persecute and discriminate, it again, and discriminate against. It's okay. Intolerance is an action or set of actions or expressions that denote disrespect, rejection, rejection. This is the word in the treaty that the Biden camp is going to implement in the United States. Rejection. You've been rejected as a mate. You've been rejected as a sexual partner. Intolerance is, an, is any action or set of actions or expressions that denote disrespect, disrespect, 
rejection or contempt for the dignity, characteristics, convictions, or opinions of a person for being different or contrary. It may manifest itself as a marginalization and exclusion of vulnerable groups from participation in any sphere of public or private life or violence against them. Uh, Mrs. Jones, you're a white woman. How many non-white men have you, we've noticed that you've dated a, a sizable number of white men. How many non-white men have you allowed into your bedroom? Because we, you are, are you rejecting them? Let's jump down to, and then, then we'll stop with this document and keep moving. Chapter three, duties of the state. The state, the states undertake to prevent, eliminate, prohibit, and punish in accordance with their constitutional norms and the provisions and punish. The states undertake to prevent, eliminate, prohibit, and punish so if earlier in this treaty you thought that I was that I was just being hyperbolic by saying that you would be punished in the United States as a consequence of the Biden camp, Bass or whoever else ends up in the White House, if T-Rex isn't there, that you would be punished for not allowing equal access to your uh, naughty bits if you thought that was hyperbolic, what do you think now? Chapter 3, Article 4. You can look it up yourself. Of course, uh, if my interpretation causes you to dislike this treaty, then please go to CNN and listen to what they have to say about it. Please go to the anti-white channels who call themselves progressives and liberals and listen to what they have to say about it so they can tell you the joys of providing equal access to your naughty bits so that you won't be punished. Perfectly keeping in line with what they write here. Punished in accordance with their constitutional norms and the provisions of the convention, all acts and manifestations of racism, racial discrimination, and related forms of intolerance, including, and then we're gonna have to just, I'm gonna get sick in a moment. Public or private support provided to racially discriminatory and racial racist activities or that promote intolerance including the financing thereof did you just hear what i just read did you hear what i just read it will be against the law to give financial gifts to those the anti-whites deem heretical it will become against the law. You will have no chance in hell of resisting anything the anti-whites are doing. Not even your private money can you give because you will then have made yourself a criminal by doing so. Publication, circulation, or dissemination by any form and or means of communication, including the internet, of any racist or racially discriminatory materials that advocate, promote, or incite hatred, discrimination, and intolerance. All things the anti-whites get to add the definitions to, and of course, they apply to anyone who cares about the well-being of whites. Pieces of these bills and treaties and the like should be enough and is enough to make every sane person immediately adopt the, the slogan that we've been advancing here, that T-Rex has to stay in office for what he will not do for us, to give us four more years to help spread this curative contagion, without which things are going to become very different very quickly across the United States.